Hello everyone, I'm Dale Reeve and I'm the head teacher at the Bishop Stalford High School. I'm sure you'll understand why we were unable to host uh, our normal prospective parents evening this year, but hopefully this video will give you, that's students and parents, an idea of just what our school is like. I've been at the school for almost seven years and having taught in five other schools before joining the school, most of which have been in the local area, I can say with confidence that this is a fantastic school. Maybe I'm a little biased, but I genuinely believe that. In my view, high standards and expectations, supported by good discipline, really are the bedrock of a successful school. At TBSHS, we provide clear boundaries right from the start, which in turn creates a framework and atmosphere which are conducive to learning. Excellent classroom behaviour means our teachers can focus on teaching and getting the very best out of each child. There are certainly other schools with shinier buildings than ours, but what we have here are the crucial ingredients for a successful education. Fantastic ethos, thoroughly committed staff, and a real desire to achieve the very best outcomes for all students is what really makes it work. We talk a lot about black and gold spirit. That sense of pride and passion that really flows through our school includes staff and students. As for the buildings, well that's all about to change because we are about to embark on the construction of a brand new school on the Bishop Stortford South development site. The new school is less than half a mile from here. The land has been released from the green belt, district plan has been adopted and construction is imminent. We've still got some work to do on exactly what the external sports facilities will be, but we do know that we have uh, funding secured for a huge six court sports hall, a strength and conditioning center, uh, tennis courts, and we're also part way through the planning for uh, an all weather pitch. Moving in is still a long way off, but it's obviously very exciting for us and the students who will be joining us in the future. In our current site, although a few of the buildings are perhaps past their prime, there are still some fantastic facilities. We have two drama studios, lots of music practice rooms, five court sports hall, a traditional gymnasium, and up on our playing fields, we have a strength and conditioning center in our pavilion. And of course, there's Jobbers Wood, our 35 acre sports ground on the Haddam Road, which has eight football or rugby pitches in the autumn and winter and three cricket pitches in the summer. It's an incredible facility for a state school to have and we are really lucky and very much appreciate it. As you'll read on our website and in our e-prospectus, we really do provide our students with a truly all-round education. We have well-qualified, inspirational teachers who are able to help our students achieve great academic outcomes. We provide them with stretch and challenge, which encourages them to work hard and we give them effective feedback so that they know how to improve their own work. We want our students to have the desire to do well for themselves. We place great emphasis on literacy and speaking clearly because we know that communicating effectively is crucial for our students. We want them to talk in an appropriate and coherent way so that they can be easily understood by everyone. And despite our fantastic English results suggesting to the contrary, sometimes boys can be less keen to spend time on writing and reading as well. Also a, a really important part of their academic development as they move up through the school. So we put great emphasis on them taking pride in the appearance of their work. Academic outcomes have to be a primary focus. This summer, 87% of all of our GCSE grades were awarded at grade four or higher, and 38% of them were grade seven or higher. So that's grade four is equivalent to the old C and grade seven is equivalent to an old A grade and more than 150 of those were awarded at Grade 9, which is really impressive. At A-level, the picture was similarly positive this summer, with more than a third of all grades being awarded A-star or A, and 63% of all grades being at least a Grade B, which again, we were really pleased with. The vast majority of those students are now off to some of the great universities across the country on some of the most challenging courses. And whilst we're incredibly proud of those going off to Cambridge or on medicine courses, it's not all about that. Whether they go to university, do an apprenticeship, or go straight into the world of work, we ensure that we give the right guidance to all of our students so that they can follow the pathway that is best suited to them. We want all students to have high aspirations. We operate a scholars program and give excellent careers guidance so that they really do aim high. Combining academic excellence with student enrichment helps to shape their character. Competing or performing at such a high level of sport, the arts or other pursuits, whilst not losing sight of their academic development, is a real challenge, but we feel we get the balance just right. 
Our fixture card includes mainly independent schools because playing against those bigger, stronger schools means that while students in the A team are able to compete at a really high standard, there are other students, whether that be representing the B or C team, maybe sometimes even the D, E or F team, have a chance to represent their school with pride. We also have things like table tennis and running club, which any student can simply dip in and out of. Our vast enrichment programme is only possible because of the absolute dedication of our staff, who give up their lunch times, evenings and weekends to provide opportunities for our students. Welcome to the Bishop Stortford High School. This is a fantastic school. The great thing about the Bishop Stortford High School is that our students are responsible, they're hardworking, they're resilient, and above all, they're curious. They're desperate to learn more, and we provide them with the opportunity to do so. The school is a vibrant school, a place where it's both a, a wonderful place for students to learn and teachers to teach. It's a real community spirit at the school, the black and gold spirit, where everyone gives the very best of themselves to be the very best they can be. And in this community, we care about each other and we're interested in what each other is doing. There is a multi-dimensional approach to education. We aim to use our enthusiasm for teaching to both stretch uh, and challenge our students, which then leads to a greater degree of interest and curiosity. I get enthusiastic every morning that I come in knowing that I'm going to be teaching these kids again. We want it to be about enrichment and, as I say, just loving the subject and give them the best experience we possibly can in a safe and enjoyable environment. So the first thing I noticed three years ago when I arrived here was this sense of community, um, how everyone worked for each other, just how courteous and helpful the students are in this school. There's so much enthusiasm in lessons as we learn about new ideas and learn to work together and to make the world a better place. I was incredibly impressed by just the work ethic that they have and how, how well they go about their business. And what's great about what we offer is the wonderful, the extensive extracurricular provision where year sevens meet year nines, year eights in, in different clubs and societies. And that's a great experience for our year sevens coming into school. So many activities for you to do to make you a more well-rounded person and all of what the school's about is to help you to become a great citizen. We do some uh, extracurricular activities such as programming club at lunchtime where you can uh, sit down, make games, pursue your hobbies. We enjoy puzzling so you'll find we do things such as Sudoku or uh, Rubik's Cubes. Students have access to a twice weekly maths clinic which runs at lunchtime where they can come along for help with work or simply to sit in a room and do some of their homework or private study um, in a nice environment where there are teachers on hand should they need them. Music is a huge part of the life of the school with the next performance or event never too far away. As well as limitless performances and concerts we also take our students on a biennial music tour across Europe and beyond. We have a whole school show one year we do a play, the following we do a musical, so something that suits all. We go on foreign exchanges every year. We have a, a long established exchange with a school in Germany and of course with a school in France as well. Lower School History Club. Lower School Ancient History Club for those of you that are interested in sort of the Greeks and the Romans and older history. We also invite in outside speakers. We also have house drama. That's a play that you write and direct yourselves and then star it with the opportunity to win prizes. We regularly enter lots of students for the UKMT Maths Challenge, both at junior, intermediate and senior level. Lots of our students enjoy taking part in this and enjoy receiving certificates um, in assemblies to reward them for their high achievements. And of course we love a good trip, All right, everyone loves a trip, I think it's one of the best ways uh, to kind of make history come to life. We have two annual ski trips. We also offer trips to the Institut Francais. We have a trip to Auschwitz in Poland. Go to America for business studies and economics. We take visits to Wimbledon and Westminster as well. And to the Large Hadron Collider for physics. And we also go to Berlin. There's an annual Year 9 cricket tour to Guernsey. This year we're taking two teams to Barbados for the first time. We've had rugby tours to New Zealand, Australia, South Africa and this summer there'll be touring Argentina. All of those very exciting trips, I'm sure you can imagine. What I personally love about TBSHS is the relationships you form not only with friends but with teachers. Everything's pretty easy to work out and if you can't there's always teachers and older students to help you work out where you're going. Everyone is welcomed and the teachers really do make you feel at home. 
For me, the most important thing is the uh, relationship and community feel that you have between the students and the teachers. I feel helped, encouraged and supported in every endeavour that I take on in the school, whether that be drama or sports. I feel like teachers will want the best for me and will try their best to give me the best result for the future. We get to do new things that we couldn't do in primary school. There is a home for everything. If you like something, there are people who like it too. I have particularly loved house drama because you're given so much freedom and independence to create, direct, produce and work together with students across the year groups on something which culminates to be actually something of quite high quality that you can perform to a lot of people and I don't think you'd find that in many other schools. A question some parents ask is, why should I choose a single sex school for my son? Well, we have a range of very different and very successful schools in the town. So it really is up to each individual to make up their own mind. But I feel at this important transitional phase in their lives, lots of boys benefit from being unfettered by the presence of the opposite sex at a time when life's already complicated enough. It reduces the need for posturing or maybe demonstrating coolness and allows them to just get on with being boys and concentrate on learning. We are very lucky to have the great parental support of both the PTFA and the PSA, which is the Parent Sports Association. They do an amazing job of raising funds to provide resources and enrichment opportunities for our students. Parents need to play an active role in the school community by supporting fixtures, events and performances and offering any help where they can. All of the information required about admissions is available on our website including the dates for our sport and musical aptitude tests, for which we offer a total of 15 places. I know admissions can feel quite complex in this area, but we are lucky to have some great secondary schools. So my advice would be to simply rank the schools in your order of preference. If you do wish to apply for a place at the Bishop Stalford High School, you'll need to complete our supplementary information form. And if your son is going to be taking one of the aptitude tests, the deadline for the SIF is Friday the 2nd of October. If he's not taking an aptitude test, the deadline will be Friday the 30th of October, which is also the deadline for completing the application form. You need to make that application to the local authority to which you pay your council tax. The dates for the aptitude tests are shown on the screen. Any students admitted under either music or sporting aptitude will be expected to fully to participate in our extracurricular programme. So please don't apply under aptitude if your travel arrangements or your personal circumstances would prevent your son from representing the school at weekends or performing in a concert in an evening. If you do have any questions about admissions, then do please feel free to contact our admissions team at the school. Parents, you need to decide whether our values are aligned with yours and whether we share the same aspirations for your son. We want him to be happy, safe and well cared for. We will take a firm approach if we feel he's not behaving well while doing what's expected of him, but we know that that will benefit him in the long run. We'll provide him with opportunities, but also with challenges. We'll want him to be safe, happy and well taught. We'll care for him, but we won't do it all for him. We'll prepare him for his future by building independence and resilience, so that he can overcome hurdles and cope with adversity, so that he can take responsibility for his own progress. If you want him to be spoon-fed, then this might not be the right place for him. I believe in mutual respect and the importance of building good working relationships between students and staff. I'm dedicated to maintaining a safe learning environment that allows every student to progress effectively without distraction. We really do celebrate achievements. Rewards are important to us. House points, praise postcards and phone calls home are really encouraged and we hold commendation teas and final assemblies every term. To celebrate those students who have either made good progress, achieved something special or genuinely made a great contribution to the community. We take the time to build a rapport with the students and work in close partnership with the parents so that we can jointly monitor your son's progress and really help to get the best out of him. A united front is always the most productive. Boys, hopefully you're now beginning to wonder just what it might be like to be a student at this school in the future. It's natural to feel a bit nervous and I'm sure that will increase as you move through year six. But if you do choose to join us, then I'm sure it won't be very long before you feel very much part of the furniture. As I said at the beginning, this really is a fantastic school and I do hope this video has given you a sense of that. Thank you very much for joining us. Bye bye.